Good evening, I'm Kristen Vaki. Thanks for joining us. He's known as a champion for the people of the Iron Range who doesn't back down from a challenge. Now, after a recent diagnosis, Minnesota Senator Dave Tomasoni is taking on a new one. We sat down with him as he shared his story and the message, no matter the obstacle, we're stronger than we might think. Oh my gosh, wow. After nearly 30 years in office, Senator Dave Tomasoni has some stories to tell. Rookie Vina walks up to Walsall and puts his arm around him and says, see what you look like? <laughs> the Chisholm native turned professional hockey player turned state lawmaker has always had a knack for people skills. You know, I was in the student council in eighth grade. You know, I, was, I was president of the class and you know I, I, I sort of always just did it. And eventually he found himself entering the big leagues. An opening uh, was available in one of the house districts because Jerry Janicevich who was the state rep was running for the state senate and his seat opened up so I ran for it and I won. <laughs> the rest of it is history. You know. <laughs> A history centered around public service, as a few years in the Minnesota House led to decades in the state I Senate. I think I get the most gratitude personally from when an individual calls me and, and says, I'm having this problem, is there any way you can help? And you make a phone call and it gets fixed. And it's, it's actually pretty neat. And so uh, I, I, I kind of like the personal relationships that you develop and the people you get to know. It's those close relationships that give the senator comfort as he faces a new challenge, one that first started coming to light in December of 2020. It started in my left hand, but I didn't know what it was. Uh, so for example, I, I would drop things, like I had a toothpick in my hand or something, I'd drop it, or a pen, and I would drop it. I was like, I don't know what that is, it must be this old age, right? But then other things started to happen, like difficulty swallowing, uncontrollable emotions, and muscle loss. I was dealing with a real lot of things as I was going through the legislative session, especially getting up on the floor and trying to talk. And, and so I was aware that there was something, I just didn't know what it was. That is until early June when his doctors diagnosed him with ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease. Initially, I, I didn't want anybody to know, but you can't keep things secret <laughs> in small towns, though. So. As I thought about it, I said to myself, um, it doesn't make any sense to keep it a secret. It's, uh, it's way, way bigger than me, and if I can help out, let's do it. That can-do attitude is something Tomasoni has leaned on during his time in office, and he says it will help during this new chapter. When you develop relationships, first of all, and then you develop know-how, uh, and you're, you're able to, to make things happen as a result of it, it's kind of like you sit here and say, well, yeah, maybe I should keep doing this because I think I got a lot to offer you. A sure sign his work here isn't done. What I'm experiencing right now is a temporary pause in, in some of the things that I've been able to do, but I don't feel sick. And so, since I don't feel sick, I have no other way to approach it than I'm healthy. And so, I'm gonna just keep going at it from there. <laughs> Senator Tomasoni says he's feeling good and he plans to continue his work for the people of the Iron Range for the rest of his term, which ends next year. And at that point, he might run again. He's also working on ways to get involved with ALS organizations as an advocate. If you'd like to learn more about Lou Gehrig's disease and resources available, you can head to our website.